Barbara Walters' exclusive interview with Hugo Chavez, the controversial president of Venezuela. It's the first time any American journalist has interviewed him since he called President Bush the devil at the United Nations last fall. Remember that? Barbara is here this morning. She pulled no punches, asking him about his reputation here in the U.S. Here's a look. You, Mr. President, do not have the best reputation in our country. You know that yourself. What's the biggest misconception about you? I was speaking once with a lady in the United States, and she asked me, why are you an enemy of the United States? I said, why do you think that I am an enemy of the United States? I have read the papers. I have seen your picture with Saddam Hussein, with Fidel Castro, and with Muhammad Gaddafi. I said, well, Fidel is my friend. Hussein, well, I went to Iraq and I met him as a matter of state. But maybe you have never seen my picture with John Paul II, the Pope. Two times I visited him. All my pictures with Clinton, both times we met. They only published the pictures to demonize Hugo Chavez. As I talked with you, you are a very dignified man. But we have heard you call the President of the United States a devil, a donkey, a drunk, a liar, a coward, a murderer. What does all this name calling accomplish? Yes, I call him a devil in the United Nations. That's true. In another occasion, another time, I said that he was a donkey because I think that he is very ignorant about the things that are actually happening in Latin America and the world. If that is an excess on my part, I accept, and I might apologize. But who is causing more harm? Do I cause any harm by calling him a devil? He burns people, villages, and he invades nations. Are there any circumstances under which you would invite President Bush to Venezuela? No, no. never. I said in Buenos Aires that he was a political corpse. Fortunately, he will not remain in office for long. I want to talk to you about Iran. As a close friend of uh, President Ahmadinejad, do you support him when he says that the state of Israel should cease to exist? Do you agree? No, no, estoy de acuerdo. no I don't agree. I do not support any idea of overwhelming any country of the world. It is the government and the elite of the U.S. which is overwhelming all the countries in the world. I want to ask some questions about your life. Would you like some coffee first? I understand you drink yes. too much coffee. But you didn't drink yours. No, well, yours must be you cold. You want mine? <laughs> yes, you didn't okay. drink yours. It must be cold. It is yes, we'll get give it to me. I will drink it. Okay. Yeah, I will drink it. I drink a lot of coffee, beyond any advisable or any medical recommendation. But if I had to quit it, I would quit it, as well as I have quit so many intimate things. I left my home. I left my kids. I see them every now and then. I left what is most dearest to me. I had to abandon them. I do not regret any way, because my life is devoted to the pool or the earth. You are not married now. Are you, do you want to marry or are you married to the revolution? It is very hard to be married. I have been married twice, but it is very hard. But I have a heart here, a beating heart in my chest. I've got blood running through my veins, you know. <laughs> Barbara, fresh off the plane, he is a passionate man. That's very apparent. Yes, but you know, when you meet him, when you see him mm -hmm. in the navy blue suit and not the red shirt that he's in, um, he's passionate about his dislike for George Bush. Mm -hmm. He does like this country, and he's passionate about his feelings about America, and he feels that with a new president uh, that we can be friends. He cares very much about poverty. He's a socialist. What he's trying to do for all of Latin America, you know, they've been trying to do it for years, is to eliminate uh, uh, poverty. But this is not the crazy man that we have heard. I'm going to ask no. you that because a lot of people in this country really don't know how to take him. Well, because you hear him, you know, carrying on, he's a devil, he's a donkey, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we have a tendency when we don't understand someone to automatically think they're crazy. This is a very intelligent man. Now, you don't have to believe in socialism. It hasn't worked yet. Who says it, that it will? Um, but, you know, we say that about Fidel Castro, who is his 
political mentor, his political father, he calls Are there similarities because you've spent time with both men? Are there similarities between the two? Yes, I think there are. I mean, first of all, in terms of being socialist. Secondly, in terms of their personalities, they're larger than life. Um, Chavez does a television show every night. By the way, he sings. He sang to me. I should have shown it to you, but it would have ruined the broadcast. And uh, Castro phoned him last week on his television show. He seems very healthy. Chavez says that Castro is still ruling with his hand on one rein and that Raul mm. has his hand on the other. They're very close friends. They are. The concern, though, about Chavez here in this yeah. country is the fear that he may cut off oil supply here. Is that a legitimate concern? Um, Look, he says that we're trying to assassinate him, that the CIA is trying to assassinate him, and he has said that we might invade. If we invaded, and he says that that's not going to happen, those would be the only circumstances, he says, in which he would cut off oil. But remember, Robin, that he has been selling cheap oil uh, in this country through Sitco, which they own, uh, in the Northeast, when, when, there are, when there are cold spells like now. He helped in Katrina. Now, this could be PR, but oil is oil. So, so far, no plans to cut it off, and that's good news. Did he think he would do very well if he ran for yeah, office he said, here in this country? Yeah, he said, you know, if I came to this country, I would run, I could run an election if I changed my name to Nikki Chavez, because I am for humanity, I am for uh, disseminating the wealth, I am for helping people. Hmm. He says, I would win. So put his name down on the list. Ah, so many others are running. Yeah. Barbara, thank you. Insightful as always.